Hey, this is Atlas here, and Happy New Year! Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down a song called Last Surprise from the Persona 5 original soundtrack. Boom! Yeah, we have a, we have again the the acid jazz Jamiroquai thing going on. It's very interesting that the guitars are a little had a little bit have a little bit of gain. Wow, the drums the drums sound so organic. I love that. Listen to the bass line. Sounds like Motown baseline. I'm gonna have to look up the, the lyrics later. I think it's pretty cool that the guitars have a little bit of gain because it takes the song a little bit out of the box. Usually you will hear this in a more clean tone, basically. With more of a punk sound. Yeah, I mean, it's a very traditional song structure. Intro, verse, chorus, first chorus so far. In sound, the song is kind of a feel-good kind of song, but I'm gonna have to read the lyrics to see what it is about. Maybe it, it is like a contrast. There's a contrast in between the lyrics and the song. Okay, it's fading out. I wonder if this song actually just plays like in while you're playing the game, or is this a, an intro song or something? Because it has lyrics all over it. Alright. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the storytelling of the song. It is basically telling you that if you mess with that person, you are done. <laughs> and you have absolutely no chance of winning. And listen, the message is pretty clear in the chorus because it says, You'll never see it coming. You'll see that my mind is too fast for eyes. You're done in by the time it hits you, your last surprise. Now, when you read through all the lyrics, you can see that there is a little bit of that element of loss in translation because I'm guessing this was written first in Japanese and then uh, uh, translated to English. But nevertheless, I think the, the story is pretty clear. You know, this person is so OP that you will be done so fast that you won't even notice. 
Although, to be fair, this could also be all smoke and mirrors. You know, if you do the talk, you have to do the wall. So I'm not entirely sure if this is, you know, like bully talk or or it's actual facts that I'm going to destroy you. Now, in terms of the music, we certainly have a contrast in between the music itself and the theme of the lyrics. Now, we did already establish that the song is about a threat. That is, if you mess with me, I, am, I will absolutely destroy you. But the music is groovy and somewhat uplifting. So, like I said during the reaction, there is an interesting contrast in that regard. However, this contrast is a little bit diminished to a certain degree by the setting in which this takes place, you know, because the looks of the game, it looks fresh, urban, maybe a little bit of juvenile. You know, there's also a lot of style or flair in the art direction and even the costume direction of the characters. So in that regard, the music itself, other than the lyrics, aligns itself with it. Now, this song shares common ground with Life Will Change, where we hear the funk, the acid jazz a la Jamiro Quiet, and also the Motown bass lines. But as an addendum, we also have a distinct element that, even though it is buried in the background, is uncommon to hear, which is the distorted guitars. And this, of course, gives the song a rock edge, enough to give the song a little bit of grit. Which suits perfectly to the song overall because of the premise of the struggle and the conflict, you know, the fight, the taunting that this person is doing. Uh, in regards to, you know, his, uh, this person's power, you know, I'm so overpowered, I'm so OP that I can't really crush you without, you know, even you even noticing. So I think I'm gonna give this song a B tier. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, check this other Persona 5 reaction that I did. And if you would like to support my work further, you can check the support section in the description of this video, or you can check my Patreon and all the other links, right? Thank you very much.